everybody. It's Angelina and Dima here from Walking Nature World. It's 7 a.m. right now. We slept in half an hour because we didn't hear the alarm. Because here we were sleeping close to the river and as you can see the sound from it is quite strong, so no bite. Now we have to wrap up everything very quickly to escape extreme hot hours and want to do our uphill until 12 ideally. So we don't have an exact set plan for today. As we said, we want to do our uphill, which is going to be around 800 meters up. We see on the map that it should be quite gentle, but we'll see how it goes. Also, it will last like for six kilometers or so. And then we want to do our downhill, but we are not sure how far we could go. Because if we go all the way down to the village and camp, which is in Andorra, we're gonna end up doing like 20 plus kilometers, which is not realistic. So we'll see how far we can go. Probably we'll do like 15 or 16 kilometers. And yeah, stop there. So today we're crossing the border. <laughs> this is the big day. Actually very reminiscent to the Mont Blanc that we did last year. Yeah, so it's gonna be very interesting and hopefully very beautiful. So let's get going guys, because the cows right now want to chase us away from here. I love that up until now we spent like four days in the stand, sleeping in the stand and we don't see any condensation forming you know, on the second wall, not say like on the tent body. There is probably because there is quite a good ventilation system, quite a lot of mesh, but not too much, just as we like it. As right now we're pretty happy with the stand and we start Elixir 2, which is our first self standing tent. No condensation issue is very important. This river that we slept by tonight actually turned out to be a great water source. Uh, the water is so clean, I'm not sure if you can see it. Here, here it is in the bottle. We obviously filter it just in case, but it is it's very, very clean and tastes so good. This is our first mark of jar. We see that there is another jar, 107. Can be the spawn ohms. Not sure where, it, where it's heading, but our direction is Encamp. And it says that it's around 20 kilometers, so we're not gonna do it all the way today, but we're heading there. So we actually managed to start the day at 8 a.m. as planned, even though we uh, woke up like at 6.30 instead of 6. So yeah, off to a good start and enjoying this time without sun. see here that there are quite a lot of possibilities to camp. As you can see behind me there are 
lots of green idyllic meadows close to the river and we didn't know that yesterday if we knew it maybe we would continue on a little bit more on the trail and we would stop right here this is a cool place we think The day is promising to be all clear and sunny. Third day in a row and we are not against it. We love that the weather has been stable and there are no rains and storms so far. Yeah, so not complaining much, but it's gonna be hot today. bad that all the first part of the trail in the morning goes normally in the shadow in the forest all the second half when the sun is already up high in the sky to go all with no shadow clear up desert landscapes can really do nothing about it The trail has been going quite easy so far, quite flat. And now we have the first uphill. There are gonna be several of them. Yeah, the trail goes like in steps. So it has like a plateau and then vertical, plateau and vertical. I think it's like there are three of them. So this first one, then second and final third one. So yeah, off we go. So what we thought was the first uphill actually turned out to be the final uphill. <laughs> not no yeah. kidding you guys, it's just like we were struck with this fact. But now we came out to the Lake del Ila, which is actually already on the Andorra side. So we crossed the border without even noticing it. Uh, and now we're in Andorra. So it was easier than we expected. Yesterday looking at the map, we saw several uphills and we're ready for the challenging trail. But now it's great, it's only 10 a.m. now. Yeah, so, so far so great and we'll continue on. It's been the third day around since we started hiking and we can feel that over the body the tiredness is accumulating and even if you rest enough hours you still cannot recover fully this is what we read about this trail the gr11 and actually gr10 on the french side as well that after five to seven days the body won't get recovered fully no matter how many hours you rest so this is what we've been feeling you know the shoulders are aching the knees and also well the back especially you know after carrying so much weight but yeah, this is the reality of it. If 
you haven't heard before Andorra and what it is, we just wanted to tell you several facts about it. It is located between Spain and France, obviously. So it is actually a small kingdom surrounded by the high mountain ranges from all the sides. The languages are spoken there are a mix of Catalan, Spanish and French. So it is a very multicultural country. It can be a bit reminiscent to Switzerland, which is also a separate country between, you know, Italy, France and Austria. So I find it's very interesting. And the things it is famous for are the commercial stuff, most of it. So a lot of the businesses actually uh, prefer to open there because you can do it like free of, you know, extra fees or something or it is very low and also many people prefer to uh, to go shopping there uh, and can buy stuff in bulk so lots of French and Spanish people especially locals who live close to Andorra go for shopping and buying you know a lot of stuff but obviously you can't buy too much because there is like the control on the borders but still it is interesting and also the ski resorts of course are quite famous in the region Apart from the big guarded and payable refugee houses that we just passed by, on the way we meet a lot of this kind of rocky buildings, which are also the shelters, but they're not guarded and are free of charge, of course. So it is great to know for someone who likes to stop like this in the refugee houses, but for us we would still prefer to stop in our tent, to stay in our tent. The trail has been surprisingly easy and flat so far. It's just a gentle downhill. And yeah, we think we are already over halfway for today. And we'll see how it continues. So in case if you're wondering what it looks like inside the typical shelter, this is what you get. And the one that we are now is not the worst one. I think we think it's one of the you know, new ones, if not the best, which are not guarded and not payable. So as you can see, you've got the beds. Some of them got just two beds, some of them four. Here you can see six of them, like the busto, which is really huge, with the five. And, you know, simple table and bench, what you really need. But we do truly think that it is more for winter time and for colder times when there is still snow and it is difficult to sleep outside because right now it doesn't make sense, you know, you can enjoy outdoors and sleep in your tent. Yeah, but in case if you are going in the colder times, this may be an option.
the weather and trail has been pretty forgiving so far. The trail has been going downhill, but there were no extreme parts, so just a peaceful walk along the river. And also there's quite a lot of shadow, so it is much, much easier than yesterday when we were walking in direct sunlight. And also there is like cool wind and a little bit of clouds actually. So perfect weather hiking. So we decided to stop here at the spot, close to the shelter of Pont Verde. In total we ended up doing 15 kilometers. As we feel the heat is getting very strong now, it's around 2 p.m. and it's the worst time to continue hiking, because you can get heat attack. Previously we had a bad experience with it, so we don't want to repeat it again definitely. We decided to stop here in around 8 kilometers to the village and camp, so we're not getting there today as we planned, but we plan to get a little bit further down the trail but now we feel like you know we did enough for today <laughs> kilometers and you know what we can say about the trail we enjoyed it very much today was probably one of our favorite days so far right out yeah. of three it's been the pretty landscapes great weather helped a lot that we started early of course 8 a.m so we'll definitely do it every day so we won't start hiking later and well the trail wasn't too challenging we expected to be much more <laughs> difficult you know like mentally we were preparing for that but actually it turned out to be nice we can even recommend to do it if you happen to stop in the village and come down the valley and we'll be searching for a day hike to do this would be a perfect one I think like the trail is apt for all levels, you know, you're going along the river, the landscapes are perfect, so like postcard looking pictures. And yeah, so highly recommend it. Tomorrow we are going to get to the village because we need to go shopping. We start lacking a lot of food supplies. We need to buy grains, you know, dehydrated tomatoes, mushrooms, etc. for the days to come. So we are going to rest now, just chill out, take a shower, cook dinner, following our usual routine. Yeah, so we'll show you some of that as always, but rather than then, uh, until tomorrow. <laughs> See you then on the trail. Here we just wanted to show you how we plan for our trip the day before. Normally it happens in the evening when we're laying in the bed already, getting ready to get to sleep. So the first application we use uh, for our maps is Maps Me. This is the oldest one we use. We love that it is very simple and clean and we love using it to plan the distances we make and also like to search for any camp spots or supermarkets and also we point out the stages so there are different colors for example you can make red the supermarkets and blue the stages that you want to follow so this is that and the other app that we like to use is that we recently discovered it's the Mappy C Z. this is a weird name but I think it's like from Czech Republic and we discovered it thanks to one of our viewer so Thank you so much. It's been great for tracking out the elevation profile. This is actually one of the main reasons we felt attracted to it. So there are also, you can plan out the trail, there are different signs of campsites, supermarkets and so on so ever, refugee houses. But we love that it has like a lot of elevation marks as you can see here on different levels. And also when you plan out the route itself, it shows the elevation profile very well so I will show you what I mean now this is where we start and this is where we finish you open it up and you see that it says that how many meters it will be up and how many meters will be down and also you can see the elevation change at different levels kind of different kilometers 
So we love it for that. Also, if you have the internet connection, you can use the weather on the trail, which is also very convenient, we think, because it, it goes for hours on the different points. So this is really nice for that. Also, the other application which we like to use uh, is the Google Earth, which is the classic. So this year we're using a lot of applications, you can see. But this is because we are tackling the hard mountain trail, which we haven't done before, uh, like for so many days. So we want to be as prepared as possible. And here you can see the 3D view, which is really nice. It also works mostly online, but when we have network, we always go into it and kind of download the maps, not to say download, but it charges everything. And so you can look look it up even offline like now we're in forest with no network but it still works you can see here kind of what expects you like all the ridges and uphills and how steep gonna be the downhills this is really really useful if you like and we're also using it a lot as an addition to our more precise maps this is that this is what we use normally it takes us around you know will half an hour sometimes to figure out if it's a good route or no like we need to take a detour or a shortcut so yeah this is a bit of behind the scenes of how we do it thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this hiking trip if so give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more hiking adventures don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!